Hey, what's going on guys? Looking for Mighty Reptiles here with the vlog of, I want to say Thursday the 28th. I think I actually got the date right for once, so that's pretty cool. We have a package right here that just came in. FedEx took a sweet time in sending it. Um, but we have a whole bunch of ball pythons in there. Uh, we helped Trig Reptiles kind of clear his rack a little bit. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so just opening up the box right now. And I'm actually really liking these business cards, Gion. Um, these are actually new. He used to ship his other um, cards for his business. And now he's got actual Trig Reptile business cards. They look really good too. Let's go ahead and get into here. And when I mean a lot, there is a lot in here. The thing I'm actually really excited about is that I get to use this stuff for our shipments. Love using this stuff for shipping rather than newspaper. Just haven't gotten around to actually buying it ourselves. Alright, so we have one huge bag here. And several smaller bags, so I'm going to try and hide these names from you guys. And let's get to unboxing. Alright, so I'm going to try my best to keep this in frame. Filming this off to the side. And let's get into this first one. It seems like it has the bigger snakes in it. I'm trying to remember all that was in the list. But as you guys can see, there is bagfuls, so... This is going to be a bit. Oh yeah, we got a few big ones here. I'm trying to remember the ratios here, but let's pull these little ones out. We have one here. Very pretty. Oh, don't bite me. Don't bite me fresh out the bag. That's not a good way to start. Okay, two, three, and four. And these are what I believe to be black pastel head albinos. And they all have some pretty good size on them. Like these guys are all, I want to say, 300 grams up. So yeah, they're really well started. Let's get them back in the bag for now. Um, I'll have to go back and check the ratios. I believe they're all girls. There may be a boy in there. So yeah. Let's get on to this next little bag here. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Okay. So there is one boy in this bag. Thank you, Gion, for putting the cheat sheet there. If you remember me trying to guessed what they were before in a previous video. Alright, let's just get all these little ones out. So, we have five in this bag. I'm going to start off with this first one. This is a Enchi Special. As you can see, it's got that really, really pretty orange sides going on. And it's just a gorgeous little girl right here. And then we have one, two, and three bundled together, spider girls. And then we have one het clown male. Let's see if it'll focus on him. There you go. And he's really pretty himself too. He's got a little bit of that orange to him. I'll have to ask him if he's um, possibly any other jeans besides clown, but yeah, see, very, very pretty just for being a hat. And he's alien headless. Yep, never mind, he's got two. Let's go ahead and get these little ones back in their bag and then we'll get them into their new home. So we do, once again, have one male in here. This is another group of five little babies. 
Nobody bite me. No. Oh, whoa. <laughs> One of them squared up immediately. I was like, that's just not going to happen right now. All right. I'm going to have to look at these head patterns. He told me that they were really crazy. And they are. Let's see if I can pull these all apart from each other. Oh my gosh, they're stuck. <laughs> Let go of them. This one's being cute. I always got to go off the head pattern for this gene here in particular. Let me see. One of these is really dark. I wonder if. So let me start off here. This is a female normal. Very pretty little girl. And then we have 1.3. So we have one male and three females that are spot nose and I just love the spot nose gene myself and they're really known for this head pattern on them and these guys have a really gorgeous one right there you guys can see their little nose too and here I'll show you the comparison between this really really light one here it'll focus there we go and then this really, really dark one, which is also a spot nose. If you look at head pattern, as well as literally the spot nose. So yeah, we have one female normal, and then we have one male spot nose and three female spot nose. Oh, sorry little one, I couldn't catch you. back over I haven't had any tried to escape yet so here's one oh oops almost knocked the camera over this is um, one with one male in it but there are six in this bag bringing our total to an even 20 on this shipment here from Trig Big shout out to Gion, by the way. Oh, I already see the one in here. Super pretty. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we have two. I just pulled these little ones out. These are females, pastel 100% head clowns. And this one's got some girth to her. She must be a monster eater. Let's set them aside. I'm gonna pull out this one just because I'm excited about it because it is so pretty. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> this one here is a pastel calico 100% head for clown. So pretty, look at those sides. It's so washed out. It's really, really white. And it's got some dusting on top. It's just so pretty. Nope, oh, our AC just turned on. And then we have 1.2 fires. So we have one male and two females. And here is the one that's trying to run away. So let's get these guys back in the bag and then I'll get them into their home. All right, so I'm still putting everybody away. I mean, I'm on the last group right now, but I just want to show off how cool these spiders are. And if they would all behave in their tub, then I'd be able to focus on this. But look at how reduced this little girl is here. Just super cool. And then her head pattern is kind of not as busy as the other ones where it's a little bit more defined in the front, but she's got a little bit more of an open Base up here and then she has this big stripe down the back that is a little bit wider and it's just it's really not crowding at all so 
I don't know if there's something special going on here or if this is just one of those instances where just kind of the the randomness kind of hit just right and made it really pretty let's look there's just this clear stripe where none of this is touching there's no crossing going on and it's just really pretty so here now let me get another one of the siblings to compare it to there's another one that seems to have that big um a little bit more emphasized of a stripe where it really doesn't like to cross all that often. This one's a little bit more busy on the sides, and by a little, I mean a lot. But it's nowhere near where a regular spider would be. Um, it's just really reduced. And then here's the one that I think is the most resembling of a typical spider right here. As you can see, it's just got the webbing pattern all the way down. It doesn't have any of that chaining or like where it's completely ignoring the middle so yeah just wanted to show that off to you guys because this is really cool so here's the girl that just laid the batch of eggs taking her first meal just a couple days after she laid this is why we use the dish soap so that she can just get right back onto food there you go small rat down all right so we're out here outside and here's something that is really awesome that just happened we picked up an ARS hatchling rack that holds 75 tubs. Super excited about this. Now to actually get it inside and get it actually assembled. All right, so I actually was gonna record me making the ARS rack and actually putting it all together just because I'm just so excited to actually have a metallic rack in here. I love our vision rack and how it's just so professional looking. And I can't wait to actually have that in here and it's just gonna make the place seem a whole lot more professional. And rather than I feel like with this just making it, I don't know, it's like a hobbyist versus the professional side of it. Um, I mean, they work fine, but that those metallic racks are cool. but. Um, since they're so they're, they're old I'll give them that everything works on them I'm actually gonna have to repair one of the things but it's really easy to fix but I realized that it has rust on it so I have to go and sand off all the rust and repaint it before actually going in and actually putting it together so that was actually going to be the ending point of this vlog was the actual finished product but it's gonna have to wait sadly so yeah other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Whoa, that is so out of order. Let me restart that outro. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're getting closer to that 1500 subscriber giveaway. And the way these hatchlings are actually starting to eat now, it is going 100% probably going to be one of our own productions. Unless if somebody buys them all, then we're going to have to wait. But it's like a 95% chance it's going to be one of our own productions. And I'm super excited for that. So yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. Giveaway coming soon. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.